I need to remember I have a southern accent. <laughs> I need to remember my voice. <laughs> Fine. Don't ask what and when I've said something. I know you're dead. Hey. Yeah. Dead? Good. No. Are we fighting yeah. over who's posting first in my comment chat? Is that You're welcome. Good? You're welcome. <laughs> 19 months, baby. Mm -hmm. So, hi, I'm Star Trek Stories. I will be eating throughout today's session because it is dinner time. Um, also, I needed the salt. Um, as always, this is an 18 plus stream because we go over some very tough topics and potentially triggering topics throughout the series because it is a World of Darkness game. World of Darkness is 18 plus. If you're not 18, then you're 12, please leave. Um, last time, we did a time jump that was a week later. And Ichigo was being a terror, like always. We love a strawberry. A baby. That's a strawberry demon. She's listening. And Zoe had a week in the woods with Trash Man. Yes. And Trash Man revealed some information about what actually happened. Travis only got bits and pieces of the picture from having a date with Rowena. Which certain people are not thrilled about. And rightfully so, considering as of the current moment, she is still a pariah, and yes, she did violate a law of the lich. Things were revealed, and then two of the chuckle fucks. Well, one had the idea, and Alexander, being the good boy that he is, went along with it. Best went boy. Along with it. Poor Alexander was just taking a nap, and Travis started singing show tunes. Show right. tunes? No, death metal. Show it's a tunes. Great face reference. Cuban. Oh shit! Damn it. I'm they were heading now. to Pembroke Mall, which is an abandoned mall in Virginia Beach. It is a dying mall. Much like all malls. Yeah, pretty much. And Zoe and Soiree were at Zoe's apartment. Uh, being as I quote, what was it, lesbians? Sapphic as fuck. Sapphic as fuck. They're being in lesbians with each other. So let's start with the two idiots. That's me. I have a question. Yes. Um, because you said abandoned mall. Is this a fully covered mall or is it indoor outdoor? Uh, fully covered. So Pembroke is a fully covered mall. Um, it has like a movie theater in it. Uh, the movie theater is still open, surprisingly. Continue. Yeah, that was it, That is so. And there's also a target attached to this mall. Okay. Yeah. I fucking the love Target. Target's target. great. They're just gonna actually go shopping at Target now. Yeah. Most complicated and deadly Target trip of your life. Those are my only <laughs> questions. <laughs> you have a lot of abandoned malls here, and half of them are indoor outdoor. So, it's actually in the middle of demolition right now. Ooh. It's a construction zone. Um, it is in phase two. So, the from what y'all know, area-wise, the roof is getting taken off of this building. Um, it closed in 2022. And... Some of the stores are still open that are on the exterior part of the mall. The interior is being redone, and it's going to be 
redone into living quarters. And you two are driving up to a construction zone that is closed for the evening. Uh, is there a gate? There is a normal metal gate. And I'm talking like the chi chain gate kind of thing. Oh, so like something we can easily get over, around, under. Correct. Um... Uh, can I... Grab my dice real fast. Is there any like parking structure that is like kind of nearby, but like not directly by it? There is a parking garage across the main street, which is by PF Chang's. Um, yes, the fact is, I know this area really well, and there's like an anthropology, um, and there's also an Irish pub there too. Okay, so plan is I'm going to pull in to the P.F. Chang. Hold on, give me one second. Give me one second. I apologize. How do I? Sorry, we got a thing in chat of bot. I'm trying to oh. get Tell the fuck off. Hold on. I got it. Thank. Oh, God. Cool. All right. So the plan is uh, to pull into the P.F. Chang's and then enter the parking garage through that way. And that way it's not like super obvious like this car is going there all right uh roll me a which street wide Someone named the status in our chat and cheesy sacrifice. What the fuck? And she was sacrifice. It was trust. Who changed it? <laughs> what heathen? Bring my baby boy did, into this. I, I did the first one. I'm guilty of the in cheese we trust. I'm proud of I'm you. I'm not taking credit for. How dare? I love you too. Damn. Sorry, hates the fucking spider. <laughs> The irony uh, is that Alexander oh. did, and now he kind of likes him. Uh, quick success. So, four successes? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so yeah, that's it. You're, you're able to pull into the parking garage. You park. Uh, there is a paying stall that you have to pay for parking. P.F. Chang's? So, P.F. Chang's is attached to the parking garage. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, I mean, it's really weird. I know. Is it by hour or? It is by hour. Okay. I'm broke. I, I'm gonna pay for three. Okay, so that is seven dollars. Oh yeah, yeah, easy. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna pay for three. I know we're not gonna be here for three. But at least it leaves a paper trail. Yep. That would put us like to where it would match up. It's like, oh, they paid for this much, so they must have been here that long. They couldn't have done this thing. Right. Making us less suspicious. Trying to build us an alibi? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Right. Right. Smart. Okay. Yep. Alibi. Alexander hasn't put that together. He's just walking around following you. And if... Okay, I have a question for you, Em. Um, 
uh, the forgetful record. Okay. Uh, should I do that now or when we leave? My favorite rights. Uh, <laughs> um, break systems. Uh, nope, wrong one. <laughs> and that someone changed it to for cheese we docks. <laughs> When you're leaving. Leaving? Cool. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm gonna park. Let's go get us some food. You're going to PF Chang's? Yeah, we'll stop by the PF Chang's. All right. Okay. We stop by PF Chang's, get food, and then come back to the car. You go to PF Chang's, you order your food to go. It's overpriced. PF Chang's is overpriced. And it's not good food. It really isn't. Nope. No, it's not. But it's still part of making an alibi. <laughs> okay. Uh, as I am we're writing down, bought PF Chang's. I'm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah. So you're sitting there with your. Did you order the sushi there? Please tell me no. you didn't. No. Oh, thank God. No. I got that that bang bang shrimp. Yep. I got the orange chicken. It ain't great. Yeah. Travis try, uh, eats one is like this is sad. You've had better orange chicken and a hole in a wall Chinese restaurant. Yep. I've made better orange chicken. Let's be real. Yeah. <clears throat> so you should see what I used to eat continues to pass. Nothing happens. Right. So, there's the workings of a plane. I just wanted to confer with you before we actually got down to business. I feel like stealthy might be the best way to go unless shit needs to be loud. Okay. We don't know what's in there. We don't want to make a big uh hey, look at us. Cuz last time uh we went gung ho. Uh I got we? fucked. We. Very strong we there, my friend. Colloquially colloquially we. Mm. Colloquial All right. Thank you, cheese. How You're you doing, welcome. buddy? Uh, hey, glad you are. I don't know how your tech mojo works. Are there cameras in there? Uh, I mean, probably, but if it's being demolished, they're probably not working. Uh, hey, cheese. You got distance on you, buddy? You're the best. Uh, are there? Could you but tell I'm if there? Taking a nap. You're taking a nap. Yeah, I'm really tired. Have you been mean do to you, your buddy? Do you oh. want to vibe check him? Do you yeah, want I want to vibe check him. This it is, sounds this like is... it sounds like sad. Me, the player. This sounds like sass. I'm with it. Oh no, it sounds like it definitely sounds like sass. I'm just wondering where the sass is coming from. Which You're not being a good dad. I how dare. Which insight? They had a traumatizing experience. You almost died and you've done nothing to rectify it. Uh, three successes. It's not sass. Something's 
something weird's going on. Jeez. You're not usually this. This way, you usually got more energy. What's going on, buddy? I'm tired. You're not usually tired. I gotta go do a thing. Jeez, what what thing do you gotta go do? I'll be back. We kind, we kind, I kind, I kind of need you, buddy. Like, I'm not, not even kind of. I really need you right now. But why not? Um, it's a thing that I gotta do. Jeez, you're being very secretive, and that's not like you. I'll be um, better when I get back. I'll make you a compromise. You tell me what's going on, and we'll find someone who you can dox. Oh shit, this is serious. Very serious. All right. I'll be back in about two hours. Two. Mm. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, Alexander's right. pacing because, like, he doesn't know what to do here. This is tech mumbo jumbo. Like, he's just very tech pacing. mumbo jumbo. I was expecting to have cheese, but there. Would, okay. would you like to try using your new gift? Yes. Okay. Here we go. I also, I also want she's to be comfortable with it. If he has shit to do, it's she. You're just gonna be able to see shit. It's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna so, use. I'm gonna use my new sense. gift. Yeah, preamble sense. Okay. So with this, if I remember, it is under. There it is. I need you to roll intelligence and wisdom. It costs you one willpower to do it. Okay. And, and the difficulty is a four. Okay. And willpower is stamina wits. Result. Stamina result. result. Yep. You just spend one point. And the difficulty for this is four. Okay. And I roll rage with that, correct? Yeah, I roll rage with everything. Oh, Rhea. Well, By God. Way, this is going to last the whole scene. Sick. Four. So as your eyes kind of glint for a second, you're able to see what's on the other side of the, the veil. There's cheese. My Making baby. a cocoon for themselves? Oh, buddy. Hey, hey can I, like... I I don't want to interrupt you. Him. Yeah. Here, get... Your, he, we're still in the car, right? Yep. Okay, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna... Look around. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm gonna take the P.F. Chang bag flip it upside down, and cover his cocoon so no one can ever fuck with him. It's in the spirit realm. He's fine. <laughs> and this is my son. I will protect my son. There's a deflated bag on the dashboard. Um... All right, now nobody can mess with you. Um, I... <laughs> Alexander just watches him put the bag down, and he's like... What the hell just happened? <laughs> I, um... Uh... This is going to sound really weird. I don't want to know. I think Cheese is going through puberty. <laughs> Alexander is going to walk 10 feet away and just kind of <laughs> mind his own business. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, just so, so you know, since this lasts for a little while, um... If there happen to be any other spirits nearby, they can see. They'll they'll know that you can see us. You just kind of alerted the whole Umbra with that. All right. Um. Good to know. Uh, uh, looking at the mall, are there any spirits 
just wandering around, anything stand out? Not yet. Not yet. Yet. Okay. Ready to do this? I've been waiting on you. I figured I'd go over the plan with you before we did any of this. We did that. Sneak in, figure Hi, shit out, Hi, kill here. things. Oh, goodbye. Bye, Jesus. cheese. You be safe now. Yep. I love you. <laughs> Correct. All right, let's um do we want to shift it all? Make it I don't know. I feel like in the maybe parking, it it, we're still in the parking structure. Yeah. Are there any cameras in the parking structure? Yes. Okay. No, not in the parking structure, but like once we get out and away from You mean like in the bushes next to the construction site? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's all right, let's go. So you go to the bushes. Yep. <laughs> Just two grown <laughs> men going to the bushes going together. To, going to the bushes together. Yeah. <laughs> Just a couple bros. Just a couple, two bros chilling in some bushes five feet apart because they're not gay. Speak <laughs> for yourself. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> wits, wits awareness. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got, I got three. I got, I got three as well. Okay. But I can oh, see if there's any spirits. You notice a few cameras. Are they operational? Or it's not possible they're, to tell? They're operational. <sighs> hmm. Hi, guys. In construction zones, due to OSHA, they have to be usable in case of accidents. Mm -hmm. Uh, I... Uh, Can we see a generator? Storyteller. Like, like, how is did, are they powered by? Like, does it look like? Uh, powered could, by the generator. Yes, Travis. Yes, sorry. Uh, could You're you remind remind me because you have the book near you and you were looking at it? Um, right of the forgotten record. How long? Like, if I can go and like wipe footage of us, how long back could I do that? Okay, so right of the forgotten forgotten record. Um does the following. Let me check. This lasts as long as you guys stay out of trouble. So you can start it now. But if we get into trouble, it stops. Correct. And just for my own sake, would I be able to start it again? Like, if we... Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to... Seeing the camera, I'm just going to start it. Okay. So, with the right of the forgetful record, it requires wisdom and investigation because there are a number of participants. There are two. The difficulty will be two. Um, though... Any form of existing database or record, which there isn't any, it is two. Okay, cool. Two participants because it's me and him. Correct. Okay. Five successes with a crit. All right, you are five. So it is going right now, and whatever shows up on the camera is going to be glitching until further notice. <laughs> and by trouble, I'm referring to felony or any other form of being registered on, like, a camera or something. Okay. So, like, all right. 
All right, took care of the cameras. And uh, I'm going to shift into lupus form. I'm going lupus too. Yeah. Woo, lupus. The husky's out, baby. It's hey, well, it's, it's more like a German Shepherd husky mix. Yeah. I'm, it's still got I'm those a, big blue eyes. I'm a chubby wolf with a burn scar. Yeah, you look sick. So, y'all are going into the mall that is under deconstruction? Mm hmm. Sure. Travis. Yeah. As you go in, as you can see into the Umbra, you see orbs of light floating in the Umbra. One swirls around you and shoots down the hall in a very rapid manner. There's another one that swirls around Alexander and then shoots down the hall. And we're going to go to the other two for a little bit. <laughs> it's nice knowing you guys. Zoe, you were making dinner, right? Yes. What are you making? Uh, Zoe is keeping it very simple. Uh, she is making uh, pasta with homemade pesto. And probably some garlic bread. It's so weak. So. What are you two going to talk about? If anything. So I was probably like standing at the counter. She's like rough chopping the garlic, and she kind of stops. She looks up at Soiree. Can Can I ask a, a bit of a personal question, but you don't have to answer? So is there's very little that I won't answer if you ask it. Still, this is um. Can I ask why? You're so hard on Travis. It's it seems real personal, but it doesn't seem to go both ways. Is me saying he's a dumbass not enough of a context answer? I mean, yes, he is a dumbass sometimes, but I don't know. Sometimes it seems a little more than that. I mean, like I, I said, don't you know, everybody. I'm a ragabash. It's just kind of. Territory, maybe. You are welcome to insight or if you'd like. Uh, yes, I will. I will attempt to insight. Um, for this, since it's a player versus player, um, Diamond, it, it will be a manipulation of subterfuge. And for you, Lith, it'll be a wits insight. Yep. Or if your charisma is higher, charisma can go for the subterfuge as well. Cool. Two successes. I'm definitely not winning this one, guys. Like, I'm just saying. Four yeah. successes. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Y you... You have a little hunch that there's something not right with it, but there's no reason for Soiree not to push it aside, kind of, because that's what it feels like. It's kind of pushing the actual yeah. matter aside. Like, there, there's, there, there's that hint of something more, but it's also, well, I said she didn't have to answer, so I'll, I, this is what she's given me. So I just kind of shrugs. He's just like, I'm. I think I'm just tired of all this shit. This might be just like part of it. But I think I'm just tired. Is kind of how it feels lately. That's that's fair. There's there's a lot happening, and 
happens, we're not necessarily making the best choices. There's it's there's not even hiding it. Like there's just a bit of a guilty look on that face. I don't blame you one fucking bit for what happened. I mean, I feel like I should have known better than to to fight one of the rats. Zoe, I would have fought Gaia herself if someone tried to bring judgment down on you for doing what you did. And I would have defended you against Gaia herself, your patron spirit, and mine. Travis is just a fucking dumbass. He is sometimes. I'm not not disagreeing with you on that. I spend more time with him than anybody. I can tell you that, that, that sometimes, yeah, he's a he's a dumbass. But yeah. he's also, I think, smarter than you might give him credit for sometimes. Of course he is. He's a fucking glass wall. There is a bite that as she says it. Like, the way that you have heard Soiree talk about Glasswalkers has usually been in why are you doing this? Why are you messing with them? It's been very critical. It's been very like, untrusting or kept at a distance. But there is always that little edge to it. It was there whenever you guys mentioned having a glass walker in the uh, museum in the lab and basically like saying it's like, why did you let them into your tech? It was there whenever it was mentioned there was another glass walker at a uh, animal rescue who was working there. Uh, it's the same bite that Soiree uses to refer to cheese. It's the same like, there's always an edge. To these kind of conversations with Soiree. But because you probably know her the best out of the pack, you can, I will tell you, you will pick up on it. Just because of like, you've seen Soiree in so many different situations. Probably the only one you haven't seen her in is like the bartending job whenever she's doing like weddings. Yeah. That's always an in town, out of town, on the side of town kind of thing. That's just work. Like that's yeah. the, I have to be with the general Melissa's. Uh, I would rather deal with people at the dance club. Uh, but, but, like, but, like, I feel like Zoe knows Soiree well enough to know that there's always that edge to it. Because you've seen the customer service side of her, you've seen the, like, the pack leader side, you've seen how Soiree is with, like, Moots, you've seen Soiree with Nana, you've seen Soiree alone with you, and then, of course, the interaction between Soiree and Travis. Yeah. And the conversation about pack specifically but that is always the common denominator is that it's spirits that are not Gaia of Gaia and then it's always sparkers huh. do you do you have like dinner handles and all that yeah it's, can I borrow your shower of course I think I just need to do that. I'm okay. sorry. I'm I'm sorry. I'm so bitchy. You're not bitchy. I am bitchy. It's okay. You can say it. Compared to people I went to high school with, trust me, you ain't bitchy. Fair. Fair. Um, you're you, and that's okay. You're you, and that's better gonna hug Zoe uh, and then jump into the shower and it's probably like one of those very quick ones where it's like you just kind of scrub mm -hmm. like the you feel everything. like you took off a layer of skin yes. <laughs> because you just needed yes. to scrub um, sometimes the spicy ramen is good for the spicy brain sometimes a spicy shower is better oh the spicy showers exactly. um so, and I feel like Zoe, because you would know your own resident, you would hear like the, whenever the shower goes on, you would hear when the shower goes off. It's yep. probably been like 10, 15 minutes. Um, and Zoe like easily gets redressed and just kind of like realizes it's just like, 
Zoe, can I borrow a shirt? I mean, you can go through my wardrobe and try. I don't. It might a sweater might fit you better. Just cause. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Don't so you want to get to your room? <laughs> to really uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, there's like uh, the bed is like one corner is shoved up against the wall. Like it's in the corner to make as much space as possible. There's still lots of plants um, on, there's like a small like dresser table and you can see it's got some pieces of paper with a small velvet bag on top of it. Um, and then there's a few pieces of like along that same, there's a few pieces of like incense and it looks like some of them have been burned a little, but not a lot. Um, and then uh, bedside table has you know, a small lamp, a couple of candles. There is a book um, on there as well. Uh, there's obviously the the requisite cords for like the phone, and probably at this point, so I just assume Zoe also has my Fitbit because I can't. Uh, and then there's the closet, which is a little bit of a mess, and there's like like a shirt. Like, you can see, like, she never quite puts, like, closes the drawers properly. So it's, like, a sh bit of a shirt or, like, a bit of sweatpant, like, stick it out, and the drawer's not properly closed. Really, so, really, sorry. All right. Um, Soiree is... I promise this is going to be creepy. Soiree is going to go and, like, look over the kinds of fragrances that Zoe likes, the kinds of candles that Zoe likes, and just open up her phone and there is a notes app that she opens and there's a tab for Zoe and it's just like taking notes of things and it, this is kind of like really common for people who want to know like oh gift ideas who want to know just like baseline like oh well you know she stayed with me and I'm in her place now so I should be able to have things for her whenever she's over uh not looking too much into that soiree herself me diamond knows um <laughs> just kind of recording things and then sees like the jumbled closet is just like, I can't not fix this. I can't not. Zoe, can I fix your closet while you cook? What? What's wrong with it? Things aren't in drawers properly. Oh, I mean, that's, that's, uh, I guess if it's bothering you that much, I, I don't care. You promise? Yeah. I promise I'm not trying to be weird or trying to like, in encrouch on your space it's not just... crossing her mind what would happen no it's fine all right and Sora is just gonna continue having the conversation from another room with zoe while doing this and kind of just anything that's sticking out like she's not being invasive with it it's anything that's sticking out is going to be taken out kind of folded and then put back in things maybe like moved around a little bit uh he'll be moved around and while doing this, she's also going to find, like, what's going to be the equivalent of, like, an oversized shirt for Zoe that might just fit Soiree. <laughs> uh, what does this shirt look like? Well, oh, wait, I know, I know exactly what shirt it is. It's a shirt I actually own, and it's hilarious. And it, luckily, I'm going to say this, it is not officially branded, so it is perfectly acceptable to have and wear. Uh, it is a green shirt. And it has all different Harry Potter characters, but they're all just cats. So it's like Hermione. Yeah, Dora just like tosses that up, uh, uses like a hair tie to kind of just tie the back of it so it's not like. I imagine it probably fits, but it's a little like odd shaped in certain parts because Zoe is shorter than Soiree. Uh, so it probably hits weird at the bottom and all of Soiree's shirts like don't have a neckline and they don't have like any like seams on them because she just cuts them off because why not unless it's like a really nice shirt or she needs a nice shirt for something or if, if it's something Nana got her she would not commit sacrilege against something Nana bought her uh, while living with Nana at least not without Nana's kind of, approval without Nana's approval um uh, and then just kind of like finishes up and then just goes and how is your kitchen and dining room set up? 
but I kind of picture it as it's almost sort of like open concepty, except where the kitchen is has like one of those like um, it basically has like the window type thing where there's like the the almost like an island type space there. Um, it's got a couple of bar stools. Uh, since she lives alone, you kind of guess that's where she probably eats most of the time. Um, so and then it's got the window, and again, there's just that's that's kind of where like she's got like herbs hanging from there, so that they're in easy reach when she wants them. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there's just like there's a like a small couch with a TV and just like a bunch of bookshelves, and then the, there's a desk where like in one corner, and it's got like the laptop set up and a chair, and there's a lot of what look like textbooks on the desk. Uh, she's going to go sit on one of the work stools and just watch Zoe cook. Aww. Oh, that's actually, yeah, I should have thought about that shirt. That that would probably been the only one that uh, would fit. It, they only, my friend bought it for me, they only had it in, like, men's sizes. Oh, good. Um, are you looking at Swerry? Yes. Zoe can see that Swerry doesn't have any piercing in her ears right now. You can see the chunks kind of like scarred and stretched because Swerry does have stretched ears. Um, but like what might catch Zoe the most is like the scarring that goes from like up the like the neck and the chin creeping onto the face. And then basically this brutal scarring all the way down that is then hidden by the neckline of the shirt. And it is, it's it's thick, old scarring to where it's like a little bit shiny. Um, because this is going to be the first time anyone in the pack has seen Soiree without it. Yep. What are you making? Uh, uh, uh. Pesto. Are you using what you're growing? Yeah, uh, the basil, a little parsley. Uh, I got fresh garlic too, but I don't grow that. It's a little complicated. You know, I tried to grow green onions once, and then like, they got a bit too oniony. Uh, you got to. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta get them at just the right time. It's honestly, it'd probably be easier to grow uh, scapes, which is really oh. just kind of the top of garlic, but uh, if you pluck it all early enough, you don't get the garlic, you just get the scape, but it still tastes garlicky. We should buy Nana a mint. Do you think that she'll be able to take care of it and not kill it? Mint, 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 mint is unkillable in, in a literal sense. Like, you plant that in one spot, and the next thing you know, it's lit literally everywhere so we like, give it will nana... take over an, a law so so we just give nana a mint plant and like nana can then do her nonsense of like giving it to the one of the bread one of the the hat ladies that she don't like yeah and then she that lady can ruin her garden i mean the, the that lady probably knows that what mint will do maybe yeah. it'd be extra I mean, it would be extra funny if, if, if she took the mint plant and then it fucked everything up, because that, that is literally what mint does. It it When I say it's unkillable, like, you can rip out every single sprout, and it'll still come back. See, this is why I ask you things about, like, plants and stuff. I, I can grow sunflowers, that's about it. I can grow marigolds. I mean, that's sunflowers and marigolds it. are pretty. Very pretty. Um... No, I was named after those. Marigolds. You were? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. And she will stand up and raise uh, the, like, the non, like, tied back part of the shirt. And there is a marigold, basically, bouquet going down her ribcage. But it That's is... Right. It, it's covered, like, part of it is, like, obscured by the scar network, but, like, it's still partially visible. There's that 30 seconds, especially saying the scarring, 
where Zoe reaches out and then realizes what her hand is doing and pulls it back. You can touch it. You can ask. It's fine. I didn't want to intrude. It clearly happened a long time ago and was serious. (sighs) Got over it. I accepted it. It was a dumb mistake. But how about this? You finish up dinner. And I'll tell you about it. And I'll answer your question for real this time. Okay. Sounds like a a, a plan. I think that's a good spot to go back to the other two. Yeah. Proving Soiree's point. (laughs) No. (laughs) Y'all are so cute and gay. I love it. No. (laughs) So, the two orbs of light... The luminescent blobs went shooting down the hall. Do I have any ideas to what these are? Please roll me intelligence occult. I I can't see them, right? No. I'm just sneaking around. (laughs) Okay, also. Yeah, let's go. One. Oh, wow. Um, one. So, seven successes. So, these are called wings. These usually possess antlers. Brief kind oh. of description of animal harm just to describe what they do. They will kill the animal host in order to possess it. Um... The animals tend to be, like, listless after they've been possessed. However, in the Umbra, they are used as scouts to get information and to lure packs into fights. They are a Bane spirit. They are commonly used by Black Spiral Dancers. However, if they get into attack, they will manifest gouts of balefire, which is a greenish flame that will poison you, including burning you. Oh, uh, we can't talk in lupus, can we? Nope. Yeah, we, can, we, we can understand each other. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, bork, 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 bork. Bork, bork. <laughs> bark, 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 wolf, 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 yip, yip, wolf. Yes. Wolf, bark. <laughs> Which translates to uh, scouts, let's make ourselves hidden for the time being. Because they, they specifically want to lure, they want us to follow the, the balls. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, but they're one but it's to like cause a fight. Crazy. Oh, we want to fight, but on our terms, not theirs. Exactly. So, stealth mode. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You so, said yeah, they um, went down a hallway? Can we get to an elevated position? Yeah, how many t- uh floors are in this mall? There's no ceiling. There's no floors. It's a single floor. And there's no basement because y'all are below sea level. So it's just a big open room. Yep. <laughs> yeah, got it. <laughs> okay. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, hmm. Ooh. I have a thought. Kid, Is there any way we can, like, dog parkour and get onto, like, this <laughs> carry on and get like onto the like if the ceiling is gone 
then there's still like the walls that you could like use as like walkways. Scaffolding, equipment. Scaffolding, yes. We're Can we? There's like strength, athletics. Yes. <laughs> well, okay, but I want to. I want to do it. I want to do it stealthily though. Like I don't want to yeah. be seen by the spiral dancers. Okay. Yeah. Add stealth to it too. Oh. So death x athletic stealth. Uh, and it's not doggy parkour, it's popcorn. God damn it. Th that's smart. That's, yeah! Hey, any chance you're gonna give me shenanigans for this one? You can have shenanigans. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> also, do we get anything? Nope, we don't. We don't get anything by being dogs. Except having not, that not, dog. Not just, not just lupus, no. Wait, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, pause. Let me know what you get. Uh, three successes. No, okay. Oh, wait, no. I got a crit and then plus one, so that's five successes? Correct. Yes. This is a physical check? Yes, it is. I got a five. Okay. Twenties! You managed to get up some scaffolding. Somehow y'all are stealthy. Even the things in the Umbra can't see you. Shocking. Surprise. Y'all are stealthy, motherfuckers. And it's my natural habitat. And y'all are crawling across the scaffolding on your bellies. Slowly go, not making a single sound. Which is shocking, considering scaffolding is metal. Travis's tail You're is just... along and as you're scooting along you start hearing voices the lagging stop can we under so we can't talk person can but understand. we could we could understand person yeah. Mm -hmm. yes okay all right Weak enough to maul? Uh huh. There's a really skinny one, and one with a lot of scarring. <laughs> Alexander's tail involuntarily wags, and he starts <laughs> to drool a little. Just a couple of guys being dudes. <laughs> Guy had ten man's blood. <laughs> Not yet. We still need to get information. And I don't say it. I'll just. Kill. I'm just thinking. Mm -hmm. Uh, can we see who's talking? You see a male talking, which you can see two differentlings, and getting information. You're not sure if there are others here, but you have a strong sense there are others here. Mm -hmm. Um. However, this male looks like they can rip you in half. Oh boy! I'm just gonna look over to Alexander, wherever he is, if he's behind me or to the side of me on different scaffolding, just go... Have you ever seen a have you ever seen a dog look at a squirrel? Mm-hmm. But as you're looking, there is a lot of spirits in this area. All banal. Which is why ours are gone. Mm-hmm. And in the far corner, there is a marking for black spiral dancers and the cairn. And our cairn? The symbol for cairn. Theirs. We're in oh. theirs. Oh! <laughs> Glorious death! <laughs> Fun! I need all of you to roll me a deck stealth one more time. Do we have dex any, what? Uh, do we have any dex explosives? Stealth. 
Oh. Did you bring the dynamite with you? No. No, man, I thought you did. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Holy shit! <clears throat> okay. What'd you get? Seven. I got, I got five again. Five and how many? Seven. Jesus fuck. Alexander's fine. I am the darkness. I think that was the best I could have rolled, too. <sighs> As you're starting to scoot forward, because unfortunately, you being a glass walker, you were a curious motherfucker. Um, yeah, I'm also trying to, like, see more. You fall off the scaffolding and roll across the floor. And then you see another set of eyes in the room. And then another set. And then another set. And then another set. You see at least six other sets of eyes lurk, staring at you from the darkness. And the one man is standing there and tilts their head. And on this, I need you to roll the following for me. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, uh, Alexander, I think we're bolting. I need you to roll me a composure and some resolve. To be to be fair, depending what happens, I'm using you as bait, and a Krenos Alexander is going to fall on top of you. Just so you know, the man before you is performing a right. Oh boy. Uh, decent? Uh, four successes. You do not pass. Uh, 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 so, um, I will let you know. You're taking three willpower da damage. Okay. And I am going to make you roll something for me which I have to have, pull it up real quick, because this is the first time we've actually done this in this game. <laughs> you are making a Hirano test. <gasps> a yes! What? Yes! A Hirano test. Hirano Super Rage, right? Suppression. Oh, it's the other <laughs> one? Oh, no. It's not the one I like. What's the one I like called? Uh, Hoglask. Uh, Hoglask. Uh, no, Travis might go into. Uh, Travis might become more emo. Well, you have to. You have to have a bunch of points in it to like fall to it. So, just so you know, Hirano is a state of hopelessness. Which, in order for you to lower it in game, which I can have a thing for it, you're gonna have to go see a therapist for it. <laughs> yes. Do so, the work, son. Now, with Hirano, let me double check. It's been a while since I, I think I have this tab. It's been I a do, while. I do, look at me. We're in enemy territory and I love it. Yeah. I uh, yeah, I think we're running. It is. You only roll. Dice pool equal to filled boxes. None of your boxes. Your boxes are empty, correct? Yes. You only roll one die, regular die, and let me know if you succeed. I need some, 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 somebody blow this a kiss. Yes! Success. You do not get a point of Hirano. Thank you for the kisses. As you do feel a bit of your spirit breaking in this, and like you have the urge of not wanting to continue, but there is that bit of stubbornness of like, oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Um, For those who do not know, for our audience, the right is called Macabre. 
You cut out. You cut out for me at least. Yeah. The I'll... Bob spectacle is the Thank name you. of the right. Okay. You. Yeah. you cut out after macabre. Yep. They just finish the right, and it's just staring at you. If I talk in lupus to them, could they understand me? Yes. They're going okay. Uh, can I, like, look around, like, eyeing everybody and, like, I want to, like, make eye contact at, with everybody, then look up at one direction, then another, like I'm looking for some other people, and then make eye contact with Alexander. I'm a okay. ghost. <clears throat> You're able to do that. Yep. And then I'm bolting. I need your role composure resolve. Okay. Specifically, I'm... Alexander knows that he, like, nobody's noticed him, and he's sitting there just all muscles tensed, waiting to Krenos and charge these people, but he's also waiting to see what happens here. Because he's not going to do it solo or unless he has to, per se. Five. <sighs> I'm rolling fantastic tonight. You feel the moment where you feel like you're being lured in to go further into the cairn. And then all of a sudden you get that snap of you move your gaze away and you start running. Yep. Dip! Do they chase him? Alexander will... Okay, I'm on the scaffolding. Yep. Is there anything mechanical and heavy hanging above these people? <laughs> or is it all open sky? Paul, you see the stars in the sky and the moon. I dropped the moon on them. Um, ah, yes. Beautiful. Perfect. Yeah. Fucking moonbeam! Um, I was about to say Alexander cast Moonbeam. Yeah, fuck yeah, but I'm a druid. Um, <laughs> fuck it, I'll leave too. There wasn't a good opportunity for violence, and now I'm alone, and I'll just. You need a pack to hunt a bison. Alexander's a wolf, he knows this. Good job, buddy. I was totally going to use you as bait. As soon as they hopped on your ass, Alexander was going to fall on him. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, yeah. I'll sneak out. Okay. Alexander. Mm hmm Can you please roll me a stamina and a cult? Oh, what? Stamina... <laughs> Oh, I do have a dot, dot in a cult. I have one. Really? I have one just because it's not a forbidden skill for me. <laughs> Stamina? Yes? Yeah. Stamina. I got one. Out of? Oh, I rolled four. Okay. I have three stamina. I only have one a cult. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Sure. suddenly feel weaker. Energy flows through your body and something is getting pulled out. This is something Guru do not do to one another. There have been 
dueled to the death for doing something like this. You will be losing two dots from your physical attributes <gasps> for the rest of this entire chronicle. Oh! Like my skills or my attributes? Attributes. Do I know which or how they did it? You're losing one from dex and you're losing one from strength. Okay. But like, can I turn? So they had to see me to do that? Or they didn't see me, it just happened. They Someone saw beat us running. Fuck. Someone beat us. I said I stealthed out. Those fuckers. <laughs> they beat us seven? What the fuck? This do I look? Do I. By the way, you will get, gain it at the end of the chronicle. Regain it. Do I look back and see which one of them did it? Roll it with awareness. For those who do not know, this was called Welt Body. Which is under the... Ragabash gifts. Um... Well, I got a brutal outcome on a mental ability, so. You know which one it is. And you're going to sear that into your fucking memory for all of time. You okay. can come back and you're going to rip their head off. And might be a little... by the way, this, so you're aware, this is a Renown 8 ability. Well, when I kill a Renown 8, then I'm going to be a Renown 8. No. <laughs> That's not how that works. That That's how that totally works. how it works. You remember who this is, but when you go outside, you're seeing red. You're angry. You're furious. You take it out on a bush. You're mauling a bush. Can I carve? Can I carve the symbol of Gaia on a piece of concrete outside and then look back like at the cairn? This will be a dex craft. I don't have craft. I now I have two dex. Yay. <laughs> Bestie. You'll get this it back is, at the end of the chronicle. This is your i I'll be dead by then. What are you talking about? Uh, now we're almost to season two. We'll we'll be okay. I got one. You make a very crude drawing of the symbol of Gaia in the middle of this sidewalk. It's there, but it is very crude. Do I know if his uh, little thing he did to make us to make us hidden is still going? It's Would still I going. know that? It's still going. Okay, so I don't need to worry about the cameras. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, then I'm just following him. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna try and get Alexander to follow me like deeper into like the woods, or like no woods. You are er in the city part. Uh, in between some buildings. Okay. Like to like be so out I'm of sight. the Starbucks and the Wendy's. Are we shifting into Hominid? Eventually. I'm trying to get us a spot where we won't be seen. Um, that Wendy's, is there like any if you're like circle around in the drive-thru? Is there a spot <laughs> that's... Okay, oh, it's closed? Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. But are there any spots where there's like no cameras, no lights? Behind the dumpster. No, because it is right up against the main street. In the back, though? Like, around for the drive-thru? So, the way that the Wendy sits, um, so I'm 
explain it to you. It is literally where uh, everybody comes in to go towards one of the parking lots of the mall or Michael's or ah. sorry, or Joanne's. I don't remember which store it is. Um, and that's the main entry, and then the whole store faces towards the mage. Okay. Is it your thing still up? Why do we care about cameras? Does the camera thing just apply for that section, or is it just no. us? Oh, you then guys. yeah, then yeah. Eventually, when I can, if I can make sure like no one will see us, You're fine. then yeah, I'll shift into Hamid. I have a menacing, evil, violent grin. Yeah. Travis, there's something odd about Alexander. Mm hmm. They look a little bit older. It's. Ah, uh, salt and pepper. Of, there's a little bit of salt and pepper. Fuck them hot. There's, there's some crow's feet around his eyes. There's even a little bit of wrinkling or tightness of skin around his knuckles. Oh, and no. the scar is lighter. Did that help my social checks? No. <laughs> oh no. I'm we so have sorry. a target. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna kill them all. Yeah. Yeah, we are. So How many sorry. enraged do you have, Alexander? Four! You're at five. Yay! Okay. Um. <laughs> Car. Meanwhile. Oh. Oh. Yeah. We'll come back to me. Yeah, we'll come back. Back at the house for dinner time. Please give us our lesbians. We need something happy. Dinner is served. Are we drinking with this? <laughs> there is probably wine. That would be what Zoe has at home. Um... Sora is just kind of like following your lead with eating. It's like whatever pace you're eating at, or if you are eating and talking, you like she's basically just following, letting you ask whatever you want, letting letting you lead the conversation. Since you're the one who's interested in knowing. I mean, I... I mean, I guess it would just. I don't know how to. It might be easiest if I just jump in with the hardest part first. And it's kind of just the, the basic, I don't know. Well, you know how we talked about we both got that uh, thing that we can do to get into the Yonvra? Yeah. I'm not supposed to know how to do that. It's not, it's not part of my, you know, thing. Really. Yeah, I thought it was a little weird, but you know, stuff like that can happen. Yeah. Um. I went through the change fairly young, but not like super young. Not like Glacier young, but like I went off to college. I was going to be a bartender. I was going to work in Vegas. It was like the big thing I wanted to do. Originally from like Southern Midwest situation. Um, went off to school big fancy ordeal big graduation party was held and all that um and while i was there something just happened i don't remember most of it i don't know what brought it on probably just stress um uh, i can't tell you a lot about that time because it was one a while fucking ago and two 
it's it's not an easy thing to go into. I was also doing normal college courses during it. I was also working. Like I was just a little bit over encumbered schedule wise. And I think finally something snapped. And I changed. And I came out of it and being in the city that I so badly wanted to live in and work in and live under the lights and, you know, the city that never sleeps and all that and where all the secrets are kept and people go to have a good time and just to escape had become noxious. It had become choking and overwhelming too bright and I could hear the damage it was doing to everything just by people being people and I dropped out of school went back home quite literally with the tail between my, my legs um, fought with my family try to ask questions they didn't have fucking answers to they thought I was crazy and they sent me off to Nana saying go live with your weird great aunt you know she don't talk to none of us she's not like us she's just a weirdo so I reached out and I went to go live with her and she took one look at me and knew because runs in the family apparently skips a couple generations but runs in the family uh she's my my daddy's sister kind of but not but kind of blood relation but complications is kind of what we always okay. said we'll get there uh i think it's kind of like a half sister situation most of the way but lived with her learned the ropes of what it meant found out was meant to be like leader kind of role and I didn't want that I thought it's like well you know I don't want to be a leader I don't have to be somebody else could probably be better at it um, I was so young I was so stupid made friends got a job started dancing proper again so I was dancing while I was in Vegas but it was more so just like when I had the time to do it in school I actually found like a dancing job here that I actually enjoyed. Um, it's where it's how I ended up meeting you for the first time because I was doing the traveling thing and doing yeah. it and doing the bartending. Turned twenty one, got deeper into the bartending, realized I loved it. Do all the weird shit, throwing bottles in the air and throwing like the the shaker onto it and being able to balance it like on my biceps and like. I, I can do all that fun shit. And I'm like, okay, maybe I can do this. I just can't live in the city that I was dreaming of living in. And then I met Reggie. You mentioned him earlier. They're a lot. Uh, Reggie's about my age. Um, they work as a... I want to call them a detective. I don't want to give them that dignity. Okay. They're they're a busybody. They're a professional busybody. A snoop. And a glass walker. So, professional busybody and a guru busybody. Um, but I could I, I saw how like Reggie wasn't as affected by things as I was. And Reggie was more go with the flow. They like they live in like human world, but also kind of in our world, mostly in the human world. Um, I think I probably only seen Reggie's like wolf a couple of times in the, in the years that we knew each other. We we dated on and off a lot. We'd be, we'd be really good, and then we'd fight. And be real, 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 real bad, and then we get back together, and it'd be really good again, and then we'd fight, and then, and it just it was this happening over like six years, Zoe. 
me and them, like, we were, we were so good together when we were good together. But then when we weren't, we just weren't. We would just fight. And I was trying to learn things. I was trying to learn about, like, all the the Thayard shit you and Travis do. I was teaching myself and learning from Nana and reading what I could. And basically trying to see if I could, instead of being a fucking ragabash, I wanted to be a Thayard. Because then I could at least be closer to Gaia. I could at least understand the the spirits and, you know, why our Karen doesn't have one and try to be what I thought I might need to be in whatever pack I end up in because I saw how some of them are unbalanced. You got too many cooks in the kitchen, but you're you're missing like basically like half of the janitorial staff. Like, and it leaves to just a messy fucking kitchen and people throwing pots and pans at each other's heads. Like, I wanted to be able to know enough about enough things to where I could cover as many bases and fill in as many holes as I could, but also probably make it so that I could go back to the life I wanted. But, fucking Reggie kept saying that I was trapped in a tragedy of my own making. Being all philosophical and shit. And always made me feel stupid. Always made me feel dumb and naive for wanting more than I had. And saying that, like, if I wanted to, you know, stay in this tragedy, then, you know, I should stop trying to be what I'm not. We had a big fight, like, one of the biggest fights over something so fucking dumb looking back at it i i learned how to do like basically the thing we can do to walk through and cross over and i was practicing in this really not, real nice spot i found and because i didn't want to go to karen and do it because i didn't want people to know i was trying shit that i'm not supposed to be trying because of what i was chosen to be and all that fucking dumb shit but I, I made this really pretty scene and circle that I, I knew was going to work. I knew in my very being that it was going to work. And I was so happy. And Reggie just ruined it by being himself. And I got mad. I got real fucking mad. And I dragged them into the umber with me. It's not a thing you should do, obviously, because if you're not ready for it, it could kill you. And she touches, like, the side. Like, she just taps the scar. Went into the Umbra. Came out of it. Severely hurt. And Reggie and I were done. He said awful words to each other. I hurt them. They hurt me. I hurt them more permanently. And to this day, they basically reflect badly on me. If people know of my association with Reggie, it affects me in the way that like, I can't just be me and I can't be the better person I'm trying to be now and be the leader that I'm trying to be trying to wear wear this weight that is put on me by the fucking cycle of the goddamn moon I was changed under. So yeah, that's kind of that. But in my experience, all glass walkers are like Reggie. Travis doubles down and proves that point. Travis's history fucking repeating itself. And it takes me copious Hopious restraint to not do something about it. I know that's your friend. I know that you're close. Obviously, I I don't know Reggie like you do, but have you ever? Consider that 
you might be saying what you want to say. No. Not at all. They're mirrors of each other. In the worst ways. And my fear is that Travis is going to do to you what Reggie did to me. Bring out that worst part. And get you hurt. And she gets like you can see her swallow and lean back and look up at the different like decor that you have in your house and the safety that you've made for yourself. And then look at you with worry and protectiveness. When he left you alone in that circle, it took everything in me not to fucking do something about it. But instead, I chose to fight with you, alongside you, and save you. Because you're young enough to where you can learn from my mistakes. And you are young enough that you can surpass me in every fucking way that I hope you will. You have so much potential and so much going for you that I want you to soar above in the only way a child guy could. With with flair and a crochet top. He doesn't take some time. I'll I'll give him that. That's that, and that's what that moment came down to. But God wouldn't have brought me to all of you if I wasn't supposed to be with all of you. Yeah. Him included. Then he pulls the shit with the fucking asshole from Ori. Nearly dies. I mean, could we really have predicted that it was gonna like just outright basically kill him? It's a fucking Fomori, Zoe. I, I know, but still. I couldn't one have shot, predicted. One shot, one kill. We could not have predicted one shot, one kill. It's always expected. Always expected in this world. Anything that you're going up against in conflict. Like. Always expected that it, it can end you very, very quickly and that was his choice to make he can make all the choices he wants but if he keeps involving you and Alexander in his choices and getting y'all hurt like that's it's not what we're supposed to be doing we, we have something we're trying to focus on and if something happens to you or Alexander then we're down a person and we're not as strong as we could be we, we can be strong together the four of us for sure but we also need to make sure that like Glacia and all the other packs respect us while we're doing this because if something goes wrong we need to be able to come to them for help We can. We, we, but if getting close to Rowena turns any of us into a Karen pariah and we go and we face off against something again that severely hurts us, we lose the support system that can then heal us. Sure, Nana will try and stand by us. But there's only so much she can do. 
yeah, trash man might help us, but we lose access to the cairn. We lose access to resources. We lose access to safety. Putting the wants of yourself over the thriving of Gaia and Gru's society. And there's so few of us left, Zoe. But what if us helping Marina is something that guy wants too? I can't imagine I she's fine. thrilled. That might be why it's been put in our path at this time. And that's fine. We can look for ways to help her, but we can't be flaunting it around because then it's going to show that, you know, oh, we didn't just like go looking for this because we happened upon it whenever we were looking for a new spirit. Like we, we know now probably why the spirit left. Like I know about black spiral dancers. I, I it's kind of just been one of those things I kind of latched onto. I think I know one. You're probably dang. So I just kind of looks at it. Just touches it you to... have a message from Smoke and Mirrors. Speak of the devil. That... Open it. Uh, there is a message. And all it says is, Your two friends ain't dead. We need to talk. She's just gonna look at it. And then show Zoe. Do I gain a point of rage in this moment? No. Thank fuck. All right, fuck. Just shows it. What did I just say? And all the next message says, I will make sure they make it home safe. We need to meet face to face. I think I feel like this. She's just gonna send a thumbs up. And there's a little ladybug emoji. She's just gonna then send a uh pick a location. No period, no nothing. Just send a look, pick a location, uh, and then sends back. I'll pick a time. So. There is a pinned location known as MJ's Tavern, which is in Norfolk. Um, for those who do not know, that is one of the oldest LGBTQIA bars. It's in Norfolk, in Virginia. Um, it's a little bar, and there is another note that says. not go into the building go into the shed thumbs up emoji then she's gonna go into her text thread with zoe and she is going to share her location okay so we need to talk to those two because apparently they went black spiral looking yep that's who i know And I don't know what you know about Black Spiral Dancers. They can do some weird fucking shit. I mean, they were kind of trying to get me on their side. I learned a little bit from Trash Man. Not, probably not as much as you, but learned a little bit. They can do some fuck shit. You know they can do some really fuck, fuck shit. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like, Smoke can get them home. That's, that's, I'm going to owe them a fucking favor now. But, you know. I don't want to owe Smoke a favor, but that's what I gotta do. I can't promise that I'll be nice to Travis. I can't promise that I won't be hard on him. I I can promise I won't outright challenge him. I, I can promise that I can try. I can try for you and I can try for Alexander. I've, I've been trying for you and for Alexander. I know. But depending oh. on what happened hard might be what he needs, but just he 
keep trying, please. I, I can't try with Rowena. I, I have to set a boundary somewhere, so I, I can't. No one's smoke already takes a hit to everything I've built. I can't take another one with Rowena. I, I will fine. lose all of this if I do. And so it nods <laughs> for a minute. Uh, and then she does, she opens her mouth for a second. She doesn't respond. And instead, she just pulls Laura in. Gonna your boundaries are yours to set. Your boundaries are yours, yours to set. That's, that's fine. Sorry you got all this whenever you just tried to cook me dinner. <laughs> it was not, it, this is going to sound weird, but it was almost kind of nice getting to know you a little bit better. Like this, this kind of stuff and getting to see you without anything. Yeah. I mean, I still got stuff on, so you got to wait on that. I'm at least like a, at least a third date kind of kind of kind of person on that <laughs> you feel so stupid <laughs> i'm just fucking with you at least the fourth day speaking of the chuckle fuck y'all are in homage hmm? i need the both of you Roll me a wits awareness, please. Nope. I got three. Nope. You don't notice anything. Everything seems fine. More focused on Alexander than anything. Yeah. Is he so guilty? Mm hmm. Yeah, he, exactly he got what salt it is. and pepper. He's turned into a silver fox now. Yeah. He's got like a maniacal, unhinged expression just glued on his face. Yep. I'm going to text the group chat. Got a clue from G. Followed up. Didn't work out. Your text does not go through. Okay, maybe she's locked me up. You have Let's no go. COVID. It's... I'm already dragging you towards your car because we're in enemy territory right now. Yeah. Let's say, yeah. Let's I have you, like, by the, like, scruff, and we are moving. When yep. you get to the car, she's just like, Hello? Hello? <laughs> she's actually wearing puberty, what the fuck? <laughs> Damn, hit you hard. Hello? Hey, buddy. Uh, what you see in the Umbra... Cheese is about the size of your car now. I put a bunch of points in the cheese, but I didn't know you put that many points in the cheese. I my put boy. 15 points in the cheese. That's a lot of points. Out. Cheese is maxed out. My baby boy is all grown up. Um. Uh, there's been somebody sitting in the car with me this whole time. Look in the back seat. You see nothing. Like, not even spirit? Not even the spirit. There's something in the car. But you don't see it. Check the trunk. Open the There's hood. Nothing. Nothing in the hood, nothing in the trunk. Then the engine's gone. <laughs> the engine is gone. The engine have... is still in the car. I mean, I don't, I'm not seeing anybody. 
then it, you feel smoke waft all the way around you for a brief second. And you feel a breath on the back of your neck. Do I see anything? You see a six foot four tall feminine figure in a short leather skirt, like, like the flared like latex leather. Uh, they're hot, so they're a villain. Um, different sets of tights in black and red. Um, a bit of fur, like the fur ankles, thingy leg warmers, a pair of very high boots that have like another four inch platform. So she's six eight in this. Boots with the fur. With the fur. Um, vinyl corset, sheer black and red top. Um, has a mask that is covering her entire mouth. And has cyber locks going down in black and red. Very don't, in complexion and bright orange eyes. Don't make me like the With enemy. Along the pointed ears. Why is the enemy so hot? After uh, feeling that breath. Is this a conversation or a fight? Just let me know fucking now. And you hear something digitized. Conversation. Kid, so I can see cheese, right? Like yes. physical cheese. Yes. Can I like since I'm if I'm here and she's here and we're looking the same way basically, can I like make eye contact with cheese and be like do your thing, boo boo? And they start reaching for the phone to go into it, and they look very confused. Also a fucking Therge. The, uh, they're a oh. class walker. They look over at Alexander, and Alexander, you also notice something. There is uh, two cords that are coming from the ears. There's something in the ears and going up, and it's... It, magnetized to the sides of their heads. It's cochlear, um... Is the, this is not the person who cursed me. No. I'm just making sure, because if it was, I'm changing. They smell but weird. They smell weird. I was just making sure it wasn't fight on sight, because, I, you know. Yep. Okay. However, looking at her, she might be able to kick your ass. Fine, I don't care. This is... I don't care about physical stats, man. Gaia deserves all or nothing. But they said talk. I'll just hold back. But, like, it's clear, like, I'm not doing a great job holding back. There's mm -hmm. a lot of rage in these fans. Yep. Oh, don't worry. I have a plan for that. Get in the car. Both of you. Your mom didn't ever teach you not to get in the car with strangers, did she? Mama I don't... been dead for a very long time. Uh, I'm sorry for you. I don't know sorry. you. Sorry. But I know of you two. And that's supposed to make us feel better? If you want to live, get in the fucking car. So she'll no. look over and give a very large whistle, and there's this little wiener dog that comes running up. And it has a little service dog vest on. Alex, you get shotgun. Oh yeah, we're just gonna get in the car with the creepy stranger who smells like do they smell like the worm? They smell... Hints of old blood. Now Alexander's confused, because he expected, like... And a little bit worm, kind of, but it's one of those things of... A lot of things are worm-tainted, but it's one of those things of... 
They also smell dead. They smell complicated? Ugh. They smell also a little bit dead. Oh, that's vile. I hate it. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. I don't you smell like worm this. and dead? No, they get shotgun. That's fine, I'm taller than you. I need the light green. I look at the heels as though, like... I'll get in the back, but I'm watching this bitch the whole time. Mm-hmm. That's fine. I figured we'd just turn around to watch her, but... Yeah, good no, idea. you all are going home. I'm making sure you're getting home. Who are you? Drive and talk. Yeah. I am. You can call me Bug. Why do you smell like rotten flesh? Uh, hi, my name is Bug, and I am a vampire. And, uh, and, and Alexander instantly rela relaxes. He's like, that's not a black spiral dancer. The fuck? I just want to kill something. We're going to get him. Well, so how... Guru, so you're fine. I do. Just joking. It's a figure. No, your, your blood actually makes this get angrier. Guru blood for vampires is like steroids. More like, you know how when you'll get really mad, you'll have to destroy things and you kind of go in a frenzy state? Yeah, I'm there. Yeah, but we have it, and we have to kill everything in the group in order to calm down. And it stays in our system until we feed again. Alexander's trying to reevaluate, is this a bad person or a good person? Because why do they sound so relatable? No, they sound like Alex. Alex is having conflicted feelings right now. Yeah. The good call on messing with the cameras and the records and everything. Good call on that. Because I've been covering your shit up for the last couple of weeks. What do you mean covering our shit up? The national park, the beach, um, other photos that did not get released to the press. Um, the stalker. The rat man. Let's see, the footage at your job. Who are you? And I why are you doing all this? Bug. Yeah, yeah, nice to meet you, Bug. Why are you doing all this? Because your fucked up also mess with our shit. Did y'all think you were the only supernaturals in this city? No, but I figured we were the most prolific. Oh no, honey. We are. Don't, don't call me honey. Can I call you honey? Anytime, babe. <laughs> You're gonna get home. Yeah, we're going home. I made a promise to somebody that y'all would get home. And that somebody already knows what the hell you were up to tonight. Finding the enemy. Learning about He's not it. looking at either of them now. Yep. They know you're not dead. Finding out about spirits. You were in a glass 
you were in a black spiral dancer bit. Uh huh. We didn't know that going in, but now we do. Yeah. I was told this could be have information that would be important to us. Was oh, what you we're had doing. Your information. Yes, I did. If you don't, I don't know you. Why am I telling you this? Yes, we're going home. You have a bad habit of telling too much information to hot women. She lowers her mask, and it is grotesque around the mouth. There are teeth jutting out and almost shark-like in sharpness, and it goes all the way up to almost her ears, the opening of her mouth. And her tongue is split in multiple different sections. Melina from Mortal Kombat. I Very much was thinking, vibes. I was like, this doesn't help the case for Alex. Like, every normal yep. human is like, uh, oh, Alexander's like, fucking point proven. Yep, I'm about to say, seeing that, just, I think this one's more your speed, buddy. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Huh? She just puts the mask back on being very uncomfortable about this conversation in this moment. As a Nosferatu, she is very uncomfortable with the energy in the studio right now. <laughs> Alexander doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> All right. You were going to get home. Well, where would you Tomorrow. like to be dropped off? Oh, you're taking me straight to your house. I'll find my way back to the sewer from there. Hey, you are not going to my house. They can go to my I house. I already know where you live. That's, That's creepy. Uh, whatever. I know where you live. I know where you live. I know where your friend Zoe lives. Alexander retenses up and stares at him. Yep. So Travis stops the car. <laughs> like pulls off to the side of the road, stops the car. I know where your friend Soiree lives and Nana. Oh, I'm not I'm worried about no. Nana. I'm not worried the about Nana. The dog is just having a good time in the front seat, just sitting there like, I'm here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You touch one fucking hair on her head. I don't care who you know. Uh huh. She is slowly undoing the magnetized hearing aids and just takes them out of her ears. It hurts so much. Why are we stopped? A car is a terrible place for a fight. If I shift, I break your furniture. I don't care about the car right now. Take me home. She'll put the the implants back in. You could drop me off at this place. Like I said, you touch one fucking hair on her head. Around me, and we'll continue going. Alexander has a mental image of the last time that he got fucked up. <laughs> Try me, motherfucker! And I just like imagine him getting wrecked. She just Thanks, pulls buddy. Out her phone. She pulls out her phone, and y'all see as she puts in ten different passwords to unlock her phone. I'm now disgusted by this woman. How's cheese? <laughs> how's cheese doing? By the way. <laughs> Is he back in my phone? Yes. Okay. I like her. She has a lot of security and firewalls and things on her devices. My passcode is one four three no. six. No, I rolled for it earlier. He can't get through. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy. I need a. Uh, I got a little mission for you. If you're up to it. Yeah. The building we went into. You want me to scout it? Scout it, and if you can get me security footage, 
if you are if you are comfortable with it and if you will be safe. Uh, he's already gone. I. Mm. Oh, I need to have a talk with him about letting me finish stuff. But. Um, Bug is just sitting there. <sighs> well, tomorrow I gotta go meet with somebody, so that's gonna be fun. Alexander's no longer paying attention to any of these people. He's, Tra he's, visualiz gone. he's visualizing a thousand werewolves descending upon the enemy carrier. Sorry. Right. You get a ding on your phone? Yes. There is the photo of Alexander and Travis in their car. And there's not a selfie. It's just making sure these two are getting home. The scrawny is one threatened me. It was funny. Immediately is texting into the, like our group text thread. Mm. Be nice to smoke. Period. Send. Does Soiree notice that Alexander looks a little older? Yeah, Alexander looks a little older. We'll handle that later. <laughs> Did the text I typed out finally send? It finally sent. After Bug presses a couple buttons on their phone. Oh, you know her. Okay, that changes a bit. No, they said name was Smoke. You said Bug. Is your name Smoke or Bug? Yes. Smoke and Mirrors is a username that I use. One of 30 that I use. Damn, she's I don't kidding. care anymore. Well, apologies. I had no idea you uh, knew someone we knew. Don't apologize. You can owe me a favor. Uh, I owe a lot of people favors, and I'm... Uh, I'm going to make an executive decision. you got to tell me what the favor is first. I can't. That's not how that works. Okay, then no. To be fair, we didn't ask you for help, so we don't owe you shit. Yeah, though I'm gonna have to tell the Baron about you guys. And that's all she says as y'all drive off into the night, and that's where we're gonna leave it tonight. Uh, Yay! We didn't die! And y'all met Bug. Met <laughs> Bug. So much. To be so fair, happy. I kind of wanted to. I was just waiting for the opportunity that wasn't given. No, Travis already feels bad for a lot of things. No, Travis did great. Travis found the enemy. Yeah, I mean... Uh, no, we you. Found out Fuck all stuff. these other motherfuckers having nice dinners and shit. We found the enemy. By we, I mean you, because I didn't. I just tagged along. Yeah, but now you are down a strength and a dexterity. I don't give a fuck. I'm still a killing machine. I don't like. Yeah, you don't care. Travis cares. Yeah. Gaia is... comes first. Death, life, living stats. Who fucking cares? Gaia, kill black spiral dancers. This is the job. This is the get. Still feels bad because brought you with. You're all, oh, I'm sad. Alex is like, let's go. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, bug. <laughs> bug is something. Um, yeah. Bug is great. Bug is lovely. Glad this is the how I'll creep you out. Company. That's hot. There Has a bunch of passwords. Company. Gross. I'm glad I have. I'm glad I have bug is bad company. Yep. It's gonna be fun. Yes, and there was a creepy for season two with her last statement. Yep. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Yay. The okay. problem is, you said the Baron, and all I can think of is Dimension 20. <laughs> so, the Baron, for context, for some of you who have never played Vampire Masquerade, it is the head of the Anarch faction. This is fine. Fun. This Which, is fine. That means 
which list will know, y'all will probably meet Dr. F Dr. Claire Cromwell. The <gasps> Claire! Oh, Claire! I don't care about vampires. I mean... <sighs> this is the trick! You're gonna force me to learn about BTM through werewolf! <laughs> <laughs> you... Oh yes, we found out. You bastard! You've We've learned our plot. <laughs> no! I've been this trapped. has been the goal the I've been whole had. time. This is shenanigans. That's why I can't die, so I have to learn? <sighs> yes. Oh, get, get ready. You're going to learn about hunters, too. Oh, yep. that's fine. I like I guess hunters. then we can kill. Yeah, but sometimes hunters and werewolves get along. So do vampires and werewolves in current edition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, this one's kind of hot until they pull out their phone. And then I'm like, fuck yeah. that. What? Okay, for real, though? Red Talon says technology bad. Yes. Bug is very much a tech-heavy person, and I will actually spoil a little. She actually worked for um, IT information gathering for a government agency in the early 90s when she was alive. Bug is great. And she is still considered MIA. Well, she's MIA forever, because she's dead. Nope. Yep. She's dead. Undead. Undead. It's, it's the her same. Her sire is great, though. Her sire's name is uh, Flytrap. Yep. <laughs> Flytrap is also wonderful. And her blue sibling is called Dragonfly. I hate them all. Wait, if we're getting Claire, oh, are we uh, also Claire. getting Claire's wife? I'm sure there's someone... Okay. I'm sure there's another member named Bumblebee. No. I, Aww. It's just, it's just Dragonfly and Ladybug. Well, that means there's room for a Bumblebee. And yes, you met her actual service animal, Ladybird. Ladybird. Aww, Ladybird. Hello, Ladybird. The best little puppy. Look, little I was puppy. just waiting for you to fuck up, and then I was gonna jump on him and kill as many as I could. Yeah, you would have died! You know, yep, there you go. I don't care. That's I the care. game! It's I the care. game! I don't give a fuck. You we care. Better fucking start. I... Do you that's Alexander's fly? platonic husband. Or no, that's Travis's platonic husband. <laughs> I'm my own husband now. Plat platonic a is son. a strong word. Have a son. You have a son. You do have a son and a son. <laughs> and a son. That's yeah, a callback. So the good thing is, is at the end of next, the end of next session, y'all will be in the Umbra hopefully. So that's gonna be fun. We go to the Umbra. We find the spirit that left. We tell that spirit that we found the Black Spiral dancers and we're gonna kill them all. That spirit comes back. We save Rowena. We kill the Black Spiral dancers. Everything's coming up us. I mean, here's the thing: y'all may not fix Rowena's mess this chronicle. That's fine. Yeah, I'm, that's I'm okay. We're setting the bricks up. Chronicle. These yeah. motherfuckers didn't fix shit. They let the Cairn fall apart. Fuck them. Which I mean, I got the information for Rowena that I went to get, right? Yep. That and more. We found a. We found their we home found, base. Yeah, we found their fucking. Camp. We wandered in. It's great security they had. We just watts on in. <laughs> we just wandered in. <laughs> I was like, oh, there's a construction security camera. And All right, let's go. Orbs saw you, and that's what happened. Yeah. Yeah, but to be fair, you didn't let us follow the orbs because you rolled correctly. Because we would have walked into the trap and died. Mm -hmm. You still kind of did, because you fell off the fucking rafter, but, like, yeah. you did good, coach. Yeah, I mean, we did good. Okay. No, sorry, it's gonna be pissed. Starting with... Fuck. Team face crush, where can we find you? That's me, right here. Right now. Uh, any of the T websites, Twitter, TikTok, Twitch... I don't care, man. Anywhere you can find King Face Crush on the internet, I'm here on Mondays, man. That's it. All right, for the other two, oh. They left. They ran away. You can find them all over the place being sad. 
You really can. That's what they're going to say. I make the saddest characters you've ever seen on the internet. I know their whole spiel. <laughs> they're in an underwater campaign. They're a dinosaur man archaeologist druid. They play here, where they're too damn hard than themselves. Boom, that's the whole get. That one more luck. <laughs> you know, I'm here for it. I love it. Love Can we it. just have Tank do all you, of our outros? Are you, are you, did you miss Lissa? No, no, I would not. No, Liss is great. Liss, Liss, can, Liss can do Liss's. Oh, so only Tom can't speak for themselves. They're not fucking here! here. So. Uh, Why can't we find you? Here being apparently the baby that everybody loves. <laughs> that literally threatened vampires over. Because that's a smart idea. When you know bug, you know bug. Uh, but otherwise, besides here on Mondays, you can find me at various iterations of at Miss List and at Miss List 2. And of course, over on Dinner to Game on Wednesdays, playing usually uh, D&D 5e, but sometimes I'm running Monster of the Week and emotionally traumatizing my friends. Um, Tom? Yes. <laughs> Apparently you win. Apparently I what? You already win. King gave us your synopsis. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had go to go to the bed. bathroom. Go ahead. Where can we find you? Ah, uh, you can find me uh phrasing coming out of King Face Crush's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but you can find me all across all of social medias at that one warlock. Uh, if you like what you see here, uh, you can find me over on Gamer to Girls Twitch channel every Tuesday playing in Realm Walkers as Dr. Backer Jostrums, the dinosaur druid. Yes, a druid who wild shapes exclusively into dinosaurs. But then on Thursdays, you can find me with the ever so radiant and lovely Madness Diamond on World Street Quests, playing in Fathoms Below, the first ever, as far as I know, completely underwater campaign. Uh, so those of you with the last phobia, this is probably not the campaign for you. Uh, but you can catch me there playing as everyone's favorite underwater twink, Ariel the Sea Witch, who just took a level in Bard, so it's about to be really fun. And that's me. Almost correct, King. Almost. You skip Almost. the I make the saddest characters you've ever seen on the internet. You skip ah. that whole bit. <laughs> Damn it. It's been Madness. a fucky day. Madness Diamond, my dear. Where can we find you? Hi, uh, I'm Madness Diamond, but since we're friends now, you can call me Diamond. Uh, I'm a TTRPG actual player. I am a writer, a cosplayer, content creator all around. Uh, shining individual. If you'd like to come follow my content, follow me at Madness Diamond. Uh, you can find me on basically all social medias at Madness Diamond. My beacons link is beacons.ai slash Madness Diamond. If you want my full actual play schedule, uh, you can find it there, but I also post any additional things I do on Twitter usually. Um, so check me out over there. Um, on Mondays, you can find me here on the Starfield playing your lovely Ragabash Silverfang Soiree who's going through it and about to meet the bad company that she keeps uh, and got to be a little bit of a lesbian lord up for why Soiree is a little bit of a hard ass. Um, there's reasons. There, there's so many reasons. Um, and then on top of that as well, you can find me on Tuesdays with our lovely Star Trek stories over on Dinner and a Game where we either play Emerald Sanctums, our World of Darkness 20th edition multi-splat, where I play Bay, the very human hunter, who is gay with a death, death wish, uh, or playing Crawfish is the Better End, run by Renown Gaming, uh, where I play Shuri Darcy, who is the Chosen, uh, who might get to make out with a vampire eventually. And then on Thursdays, you can find me over on World Tree Quest with That One Warlock, where I play Melusine Lisbestra, the Battlemaster Barbarian, uh, and we just leveled up last session after a very nearly lethal for one of our party members uh combat so if you want to check that out please go ahead and join us for that we're off this thursday but we will be back next thursday um and then like i said follow me on my socials you'll see all the things i'm working on 
Uh, I'm also the admin coordinator administrative coordinator over on dinner and game where i am the keepers of schedules and spines i basically make sure that shits runs most of the time uh and i'm also the community manager for the cast side of world tree quest as well so i am also dipping into actual play production so if you would like to have me on one of your projects to help add a little bit of shine and sparkle uh into your project please reach out to me and let me know Star Search Stories, where can we find you? Hi, I'm Star Search Stories or Star Search Story on most corners of the internet because uh, social media cannot decide what my username should be. It's a problem. Um, on Mondays, you can find me here running this lovely game, which is Werewolf the Apocalypse, The Guardians of Neptune's Cairn. We're almost done with season one, guys. And... Y'all pretty much got the system down for the most part, so next season I am not holding back punches. Um, on Tuesdays, you can find me on Dinner and a Game Show, where I play Countess Rosaline, our she noble from House of Islanded, um, for our Emerald Sentence game, which is a 20th anniversary World of Darkness game. Um, and then you can also see me play Esther Stamp, a.k.a. Buttercup, the para romantic for crawfish till the bitter end when Rin runs the lovely game. Um, you will not see me on Emerald Sanctums this Tuesday. Um, if you missed the episode last week, it was me and Sphinx. This week it is uh, Stealthy Cove and Fountain and Fem going off on a Farah and Guru adventure, which, oh boy, um, if you missed the other special episode i suggest watching it it was extremely emotional for all groups involved um there was some crying um it was pretty sad um on fridays back here on the star field at 8 p.m eastern standard time you can watch primeval haunt which is a monster of the week game that is medieval-esque and also fantasy heavy game that is ran by my lovely spouse Markov and Co. Um, I play Lail the Divine um, which apparently the, now the entire cast once they saw her in battle finds her hot. Um, very interesting things. Um, and then you can find me on Dice and Tables podcast. Um, we're doing a good society season this season which is called Midsummer Night where I play Marion Falkland, um, who is not quite a noble, but is the daughter of a doctor that worked for the king, King George. Um, so that can tell you the kind of the timeline era. Um, it is very dramatic, very sapphic, Bridgerton-esque with fairies kind of game. And no... I am not playing a fairy. I am playing a human. Shocking the whole internet. Um, however, the season after that, I can announce it. It will be a game that I am running through Vampire the Masquerade. Um, this will be arc one out of three. It is called uh, Vampire the Masquerade The Three Gardens, and act one is called Suffering. So it is going to be a very dark game. If you do not like do dark cult indoctrination related things, that is not the season you want to listen to. So on that note, we are going to be heading out. Good night. Good day. Good afternoon. Happy time zone. And we are out. I can't say, Sam, we're done because I have the computer right here. Bye. <laughs>